The Road to the Knockout promo has brought us some great cards and already the first SBC, Yozua Kimmich, looks absolutely cracked. We're going to be reviewing him today. Um, this is a pretty good team, so I shouldn't have many excuses to lose. We are going to do some champs. Um, I've got this new Rio Ferdinand in defense, who we will be testing out. Uh, Vinny Jr., I've played a couple games with him. He is great. And let's just quickly look at the stats of Kimmich. We've done a player review on Musiala as well, if you want to go check that out. See if he's good, as this will be a good link to this new Kimmich card. We're going to be just playing him at centre mid today. Um, I think what I'm really interested in is pink pass plus and long ball pass plus, both on the same card. I don't know many other cards that have that. So it it basically... Passing should be automatic with this guy. Almost every pass should be accurate, whether it's along the ground or in the air. Actual stat-wise, he's 4-star, four 4-star, four high, high work rates. I think he used to have medium defensive, so that's very good. And if we look at the stats, he's a little bit slow, but I know that acceleration is actually very important in the midfield because they need to be able to quickly run back or quickly switch to running forward and like just run at someone to tackle them. They don't necessarily need to sprint all the way back to make a side tackle or sprint onto a through ball sort of thing. Obviously, the passing's crazy on this card. The dribbling is probably one of the best you'll see in this game from a DM, not including Team of the Years, obviously. Defending is it's decent for a holding mid, but we've got a shadow on him, so it'll be very good. Strength isn't great, but stamina and aggression will make up for that. He'll be able to run the whole game, hopefully, and... The aggression is normally what helps with tackles more than strength, I find. You can play him right back, centre mid, CDM. I'd recommend centre mid or CDM for him. And he does also have the base relentless, which is good. Goes well with the stamina and uh, anticipate very good defensively. And press proven is meant to be quite an underrated playstyle. I know when it's playstyle plus, it's good. And just because of the upgrade scheme, I will say we do have quite a few injuries now. If you're new to the channel, I am a Bayern fan. Um... Yeah, uh, we do have quite a few injuries, so it's not necessarily guaranteed we'll go very far into this tournament. But I think by the time we get to quarterfinals, a lot of our players should be fit and back to playing. I think we've got nothing to do other than go test him out. First game for today, and we are versing Milhouse from the Simpsons. No way! He's an Arsenal fan. Uh, okay, he's got Saliba, Mateus. Okay, he's done very well during Team of the Year to get Bon Matty and Best Sawa done. Okay, let's see how we go. Obviously, we've got a whole midfield of Bayern Munich players, or past and present Bayern Munich players. So hopefully they have chemistry. Go on, let's test the long pass. Oh, I can already tell he's going to be so good. Okay, not a great pass from Vinny there. Although, Van Dyke was the one who got there, and Van Dyke normally gets absolutely everything. I think that Kimmich's agility is going to be very key during this because you don't often get a holding midfielder that's very agile as they're normally like very tall. Oh, just look at the passing. I, I didn't even know someone was making a run there, but his passing is just too good. Four-star skills is also a big upgrade for him. Is just something as sim simple as step overs you can now do. Van Dyke's always going to get there. Never mind, we've still got it with Kane. Oh, great interception. That'll be from that anticipate play style there from Kimmy. Let's just get it out wide. I, I can't find someone. Okay, here we go. Let's get the Traveller. Why did he take it on his left? One problem that may arise is that Kimmy might not necessarily be like that tall massive physical presence that a lot of people like using a holding midfielder for so we'll see how that goes but so far he hasn't been bodied yet or anything but he's just gonna run in win it anyway even if harry kane's still there oh, what, what am i meant to do it's just van dyke oh here we go the pace the sheer pace of eusebio's done me there 
I've even moved my keeper. It's still gone in. Gone, Kimmy. Play through to Harry Kane. Lovely weighted ball, and I just I've pressed shoot, but he couldn't quite get the shot off in time. Gone, Harry Kane. Oh, it's just that heavy touch there. Not a great performance from me, but Kimmich is looking good so far. The card's not bad as well. Huh? Oh, come on, Schweinsteiger. Let's just whip a ball. Nice. Not exactly where I wanted that through ball to go. Oh, he's done him. Musiala's done him. Malcolm, what a finish. Didn't expect that one to go in, actually. But that just shows the brilliance Musiala has, <laughs> even when we're not just doing a review on him. Which you should watch, by the way. <laughs> As he is a good link to this Kimmich card. He feels so agile, Kimmich. Ah, that's my bad. I shouldn't have gone for that pass. Oh, he's gone near post. Oh, I don't know what to say. Power shot. Yeah, even though it was right down the middle, it went in. He moved his keeper anyway. Oh, I didn't quite green time it. I don't think it would have gone in anyway. Here we go. Even though Davies has 99 pace, Salah will be just as fast as him with the ball. Yeah, it's always going to be a goal. Yep, do the Rashford celebration. Cold. Let's play Harry Kane through. Keep it in. No. Oh. Go on, Davies. Get us one back. Watch Van Dyke be just as fast as him. Never mind. He's brought his keeper out a bit. <laughs> Didn't get it anyway. I think Van Dyke just stuck his leg out and blocked it. Wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Uh, disappointing to lose the first game uh, of today's video, but we can still say Kimmich was solid. First game. Sorry, not first game. Second game. Mike's Majesty. He's got Dudek, company... Okay, this is a not as strong team. It's not a weak team, it's just not as good. And I, I don't know if I want to keep using Harry Kane. I might go back to using Butraguenio. Go on, Kimmy. Did turn very quickly there, I'll give him that. And he's intercepted it straight away. For a Musiala. Green time Traveller. Oh, it's actually gone in. <laughs> Travellers are his thing, man. He doesn't do those, like, looping ones that go over the keeper. But they, they just go in. Great tackle. Oh, and he's managed to keep onto the ball as well after that tackle. I like that. Musiala. Play Kane in. Chip. Never mind. Jeez. Let's go for a power shot. Ah, it's been blocked. I didn't look at his long shots properly, properly actually. It's probably something I should have done at the start, seeing as he is a midfielder. Ah, red timed it, I think. Or I didn't, definitely didn't green time it there. On Harry Kane, power shot. Oh, the, you're not saving that, are you? you? That's that's just always in the back of the net. Despite his high high work rates, Kimmich is actually like fulfilling the role sort of as the CDM or the the six in this formation. Oh, he's so so agile. It's so useful to have a player that's agile. Like I can quickly turn now. I can pass to the right. Sorry, to the left now. I can quickly turn. I can pass to the right. It's so hard to get a holding mid that does that. Makes runs forward as well when you want him to. Play killer passes like that to Harry Kane. Probably shouldn't have shot that. But just pierce the defense with one pass. A power shot. I 
There we go. What a goal comes from Kimmich driving the ball all the way from the right to the left and then playing the perfect pass. I th honestly, I think this SBC is a no-brainer to complete. Um, even if you have like Sawa already in your midfield, I think maybe unless all your midfielders are a similar sort of profile to Kimmich, um, or if you play a 4-4-2 and already have one similar profile midfielder, I think this Kimmich is a no-brainer to complete. Honestly, he, he's probably better than that Bruno Fernandes card, value-wise. He's like, well, let, let me get my facts straight here. So the Kimmich SBC comes in at around 450k, but obviously you'll have some fodder left over from, t over from Team of the Year, I'd like to hope. Unless maybe you have completed Bruno Fernandes, who's 1.05 mil. So he's more than double the price, and you can argue Kimmich's better. Maybe not right now, and maybe they're not the exact same position, but I would argue both of them you should be playing center mid. Um, but you've got to keep in mind those upgrades. I, I think this card's going to be very, very good in the future, especially if we do, I think it was get to the semi-final get an extra playstyle plus. He could be one of the first cards in the game, or first cards ever, technically, to have three playstyle pluses. Once again, I just think this SBC is a no-brainer to complete, um, unless you already have a really meta midfield. Dribbling, immaculate. Passing, incredible. Uh, defending, very, very good. Physically, he felt fine, and he's, he doesn't even feel too slow in game. We didn't get too much shooting with him, but... I'm sure he'd be okay at that. Enough of the waffle. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.